half of married women with a business related degree out earn their husbands. Yeah. 80% of women will be solely responsible for their household finances at some point. There you go. Look. Whereas it predominantly, maybe men used to be that way. I don't know. Um, women will also inherit 70% of the wealth passed down over the next two generations. Yeah. Control two thirds of household wealth by 2030. And 53% of UK millionaires will be female by 2025. So when it comes to female advice careers, up to 70% of women who work with it, with financial advisors prefer female advisors. 34% of financial advisors believe their firm should employ more female advisors. However, female advisors account for just 15% of the current profession. So that to me, any, any, any female that's listening to this podcast, anybody that's in the profession right now, there is a huge opportunity huge Absolutely. opportunity it couldn't be bigger could it no I, I completely agree and 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 it's interesting because I mean I, I've actually had some people come to me directly because they want to work with a female advisor yeah. and and that's been really interesting because as you said you know they've they've spoke to a couple of other firms and it's you know men of a certain age wearing a pinstripe suit I mean gone are those days I think mm -hmm. thankfully um but I think I think a lot of people, it doesn't matter whether you're a male or female advisor, um, ultimately the, the clients, um, they just want to be listened to, mm. they want to be understood um, and they want, you know, each partner wants to be talked to and listened to because I think in the past we've been guilty of perhaps focusing on the man because the assumption is that they earn the money and, and they're the breadwinner. And, and actually what I find is regardless of who earns the money and who, who holds the assets, a lot of the time um, the female, um, the wife um, manages the household finances. And I've heard you know stories of you know wives being ignored um, in meetings and, and not being directly asked questions, which is you know pretty horrendous actually. Mm -hmm. um, so it's interesting when you reel off those statistics because um, you know I was, I was reading a, um, a study the other day by I think it was Strategic Marketing that basically said that something like seventy or eighty percent of um, people in the UK, sorry, in the US. Um, females leave their advisor when their husband passes away, right. um, when they're bereaved, mm. um, because they've previously just felt ignored and want a new relationship, which again is a horrendous statistic if it's true. 